So Undisputed finally came out with a career mode. So it's only right we bring back my good friend Hugh. If you don't know Hugh, some people call him the greatest UFC fighter of all time. Some may even call him a god amongst men. But like every other retired UFC fighter, he came to boxing. Side note, if you want to see him fight at 500 pounds, stick around until later. I'll show you how to do it. Now, Hugh gained a few extra pounds since we last saw him. Some may say he's fat or morbidly obese, but they don't know this is what a peak male physique looks like. I mean, just look at his stance. So I started my boxing career in an amateur bracket so I can take advantage of these rookies. I mean, learn how to box from the ground up, obviously. First fight, and it's against Gabriel Herrera. You may look at his 31 and 2 record and think to yourself, Hugh, you're f. Or him being 6'8 and 20 pounds heavier than me and think, how the f is this guy in an amateur competition? Well, Hughes out of this world strength is the reason why. It was once said he needed to use boulders as punching bags because he kept breaking the regular ones. I mean, just look at how terrified his opponent is. So I started the fight with a few good strikes, but he caught me with a good punch. So I decided to show him what the greatest UFC fighters punches really feel like and broke his f***ing ribcage. People usually never get up from this, so I think I'm moving on to quarterfinals. This was a pretty easy first fight. You gotta be f***ing kidding me. How dare you get up after I knock you down. Now I'm gonna have to take your head off, buddy. Oh yeah, you. Finish it out strong. Come on, knock him out. There's no way this big for nothing motherfucker is gonna get up from that. Let's go. Next round. Sign me up. He indeed did get up. So coach told me to stop playing with my food and end his career right now. That's exactly what I did. I came out hot and was throwing bombs straight at his head. Fun fact, Gabriel actually went into a three month coma after this fight. He suffered multiple concussions when his head hit the canvas. Quarterfinals time and I'm feeling better than ever. I'm ready to show the world why I can be the greatest boxer to ever touch this ring. This fight's for grandpa. He recently passed away. He drank some weird honey and he passed out. My grandma told me he died hard. So much like grandpa. Being a man's man even until his deathbed. In my head, I thought surely I won this fight with that knockdown, but apparently the ref forgot how to f count. Because once he said six, he just stopped counting and let him get up. But it's all good. I'll knock him out for good this time. Get up. Granddad, is that you? Boy, get off your bum, you lazy bugger. Granddad, why, why are you Australian? I grew up in the land down under my whole life, mate. Oh, uh, you were born in Texas. Stop stressing over me, mate, and get your ass up before it's too late. What the fuck? Throw punches like a kangaroo and glide like a kookaburra. Okay, I'm gonna say it. That has to be offensive. Okay, that was weird, but I guess I'm back. If I want a chance at winning this fight, I have to use my special move and punch his I lost. I haven't felt this feeling in a really long time, but I know I could bounce back. This won't make me give up. So I picked up this last minute fight at the gym. Apparently this guy's 28 and 13. Maybe fighting guys with 10 times my experience isn't as smart as I think it is. Eh, nah, I got this. Oh my God, no, please put your hands up, Hugh. Not again. Why do you always leave your fucking hands down? Put them up, you're gonna get knocked out, bro. Come on, no. This motherfucker deadass just emoted on me. Okay, watch when I get up, bitch. I indeed did not get up. I can't keep losing like this. If I don't win my next fight, I'm retiring and never returning to the ring again. I've been slacking. Now it's time to show the boxing world what I'm really made of. I don't care who's in front of me. They're all getting slept. So while I was doing my pregame ritual, this guy decided to hit a cheap shot off on me. So now I'm going to show him what it feels like to get hit with an F-150 going 80 I have no idea what happened, but coach told me if I don't win this fight by knockout, I'm losing the fight. Side note, I skipped round two and three because it's boring, almost like every other boxing fight, to be honest. So yeah, I'll let y'all enjoy round four though. By the last round, Hugh was fucking exhausted, throwing punches like his arms were made of jelly. So I really had to look for something big. I noticed that Cook kept putting his head down, so I threw the hardest uppercut I could. After this, Hugh unfortunately got locked up for 25 years for manslaughter. So I downloaded this app called Wemod, and on it, it says I can set Hugh's weight to whatever I want. No fucking way, this man is 500 pounds and he's 5'5". I also put another mod on, let's just say Hugh's gonna actually be fighting to his true potential. This is lore accurate Hugh speed right here, I don't think this fight is gonna be long at all, I think this man is gonna kill us right away. Well. That was quick. I was gonna end the video here, but then I got a pretty interesting fight offer. This should go way better than last time because since then I've unlocked so much more potential. Are you dead ass? I bet. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's go.
There's no possible way he can get up from this punch. Please, come on. I think I literally broke his fucking ribcage. Let's go. Suck my fucking.